Let's talk. We're back. <clears throat> Let's talk WandaVision episode three. What's up? Got Troy back in the house. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up? Episode three, man. Fuck, what a what a roller coaster, especially towards the end. So I want to get your uh just hit me with your thoughts, man. Like, what were you feeling? Well, How'd this you is feel the, about it. This is the Brady Bunch episode. Yes. Because that's how it started off, kind of. And uh it's the 70s now, right? Not the 80s. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And uh oh, the set was awesome. The intro to, the introduction was awesome. Um, yeah, man. I mean, pretty much I'm sticking to my guns on my theory from when we you know, from the first two episodes. Yeah. Uh, it's it's obvious to me that that Wanda is becoming more and more and more aware as more color was introduced. Now she's completely got color around her and she's starting to realize she's starting to ask some fucking questions. The thing is, <clears throat> and Sword is there, but I think that actually once again, they're there in a protect everybody else situation yeah. because Wanda's clearly, she's clearly lost it. Um, she's manifesting all these things. She's manifested vision, manifested the children and uh, Agatha. What's her name? The neighbor, whatever. Agnes. It, Agnes. Yeah. Agnes. Agnes. <clears throat> Agnes. It's, it's probably the, her real name is probably Agatha. Uh, it's something like that. But anyway, yeah. she's going to, she's going to be the one who's going to train her. Cause she's she's a witch from the past, man. And you still think they're all manifestations, though? I think they're all real. No, 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 no. They're real, but vision is a manifestation, and the children are a See, manifestation. I have a, I have a theory about that. Oh, yeah, you think it's yeah. a scroll or some shit? I think, and I saw this on Reddit yesterday. Um, someone said, and it kind of made me think: What if vision could be like Mephisto or somebody? Or a scroll, like pretending to be Vision, just to fuck with Scarlet Witch. Uh, it wouldn't be Mephisto. Uh, no, you don't think? No. Could he? No. Could he like, he's he's going to be around. He's going to be around, but he's not. He's not. He's not Vision, dude. I can't remember if he could shapeshift or not in the comics, or like project himself to be something else. You know, I don't. I, don't I think. I think he can. Let's, let's look at this thing called Jujil. Well, I mean, it kind of makes sense. You know, like pretty sure he can. If if him and Agnes are fucking with Wanda. You know, it that kind of be like a real dick move for him to project himself to be Vision. Because I was often thinking, like, <clears throat> at first I was like, okay, Vision must be a figment of her imagination. But now in this episode, Vision's actually talking with Agnes and the neighbor, and he looks like a real person. So it's like, how the fuck is he really there? Yes, he can shape shift, shape and size shifting. Yeah, Mephisto so is an extremely powerful, immortal, demonic entity possessing abilities used by manipulating the forces of magic. Yeah, Causes some powers including superhuman strength, shapes, uh, shape, size, shifting, projecting illusions, manipulating memories, and altering time. Yeah, I should have known that. Some Marvel fan I am. You know, um, <clears throat> Me too. We should start but, over. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to do my research next time. I try to do a Marvel show, acting like I know what I'm talking about. But right, yeah, fuck oh, you, Art. Yeah, Art's, yeah, Art's gonna listen to this, be like, you guys don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna blame Art for not. Well, we're not talking about comic books. We're talking MCU stuff. Yeah, you may have read more comic books, Art. Fucking lame ass Baez, but we've all seen the movies and the shows. You haven't yep. seen any Wanda yet. So he you're a dick. It? No, he's he will. He will. Man, my man's slacking. But no, I could we love you. Yeah, it's just a theory, but I could <clears throat> that's kind of the only either someone's projecting vision to be there or vision's not really vision. It's like a someone disguised as him. I don't I don't fucking know. He's there. He's just but he's the thing is I think <clears throat> that's what caused them to realize, uh oh, Wanda's not healthy because she's she manifested vision. So vision is there. Vision, she 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 made him come back, right? And they're like, oh fuck, this isn't healthy. And maybe they maybe she started spiraling down and they're like, oh man, you know, this is bad. And once again, remember when I was talking about, you know, potentially what if they bring into account like consequences, right? Right. Right. Um, kind of like in in, in uh, Doctor Strange. Remember at the end, the guy's like, everything has a, has a cost, has a price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that. So, so they may be tying that in together and they're like, dude, she's, she's fucking up some stuff. We, we got to, we got to, we got to try to rein her in. So they're bringing someone in to help kind of train. First, she's got to get her trust, which in case she's being the neighbor, providing everything she needs, helping her through everything. Right. Because mm -hmm. Wanda always wanted to be, she manifested this perfect environment where she's a family. She's got her own house, all these things she didn't have as a kid. So, yeah, but these are all red flags to people who, who know what the fuck's going on and they see the danger. So what's up with the to, kids? 
Are they real? <clears throat> They're manifestations as well. Yeah. Through through her. There, yeah, there were there were definitely a lot of clues this episode. And, you know, the doctor at one point says, um, you know, small towns like this, it's hard to escape. Like he's being held there mm-hmm. against his will. And then of course, Herb, the black neighbor, he was just acting very, very strange. And and the last I'd say five to seven minutes of this episode are really I said this in a comment earlier on Facebook. It's, it was real. Oh, sh- like real. Oh, shit moments. Like uh, I remember watching it, dude, like when Vision goes outside and starts talking to them and, you know, the the, the real music starts kicking mm-hmm. in. And um, here's what I think is going on. So Agnes, I think, like I said before, she could be involved in this. Um, I think the way she was acting, it kind of seems like she has a hand in what's going on. Like she was asking Vision you know, is Geraldine in there? What is she doing in there? And, you know, she, she seemed kind of like, you know, like, uh, uh, what's going on? Like worried in a sense. She's cautious because once again, she knows that vision is an extension of Scarlet Witch. So they're well, really careful about how they talk to her. Well, vision not because, only that, not only yeah. that, I, I'm thinking she's, I think Geraldine, who's obviously Monica Rambo. I think mm-hmm. she's working with sword. I think sword sent her in there to mm-hmm. try to pull Wanda out of whatever's going on. That's why whenever she brings up Ultron or no, when, when Wanda said, I'm a twin, she brought up her brother. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think, I think Monica saw an out like, uh, Oh shit, this could be a moment to try to snap her out of this. So she brought up Ultron. It's like, Oh shit, dude. And of course Wanda starts, but I, I think it backfired because it made Wanda piss. <clears throat> she obviously just turned dude. that face. Yeah. She made bro. That face looked disgustingly evil. And, um, well, Sword is the one who's who's got this whole facility around her. Right, right. And so, I think um Yeah. See Yeah, it just kind of doesn't make sense in that in that aspect of it because Why not? So so I, what I'm saying is like if Sword put this all around her, why mm-hmm. would they be trying to send Monica in to get her out? Or maybe Sword just They're not set sending up- in there to get her out. They're sending they're trying to get her to get her trust slowly. They're, they're putting her through a type of therapy, if you will. They're trying to get her stabilized oh, okay, slowly. Okay. I see so that, that, that right yeah. now, this this is this is the safest place to keep her because Sword has her in this dome or whatever the fuck you want to call it, yeah. and it's they're in somewhat of control. But then, as 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 she's becoming more and more out of it, they're realizing, fuck, she's getting stronger. We got to find ways to hopefully, yeah, coach her along the way and make sure that she blossoms in the direction that that we need her to go. Yeah, because Sword, I mean, this is not the first time Sword's been in the MCU, by the way. What was the first? At the end of Spider-Man Homecoming? Refresh my memory. Um, I, I don't... Do you remember when um, he was up at the end of the movie? He thought he's not dead. It was, uh, God damn it, the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. What's his name? Fucking Fury. Fury. Fury's up in that satellite, up in space. Oh, that- that's uh, Far From Home, not Homecoming. Yeah, the the most recent one, whatever the fuck. Oh, that third was sword? one. Okay, I didn't know that. Was that's to be that's sword. that's called. I think it's called the Peak. It's oh, their okay. it's their satellite station. Because shields yeah. destroyed, dude. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I knew that. I just so. Okay. Huh. Hmm. I could see where you're coming from. That's actually pretty interesting. Like you know, she's trying to send her to try to, you know, it's like I could see the therapy to be a her. mentor and to coach her and kind of help guide her through the situation but know? obviously she kind of wasn't ready for that because when she brought <clears throat> Ultron, that kind of you know I, I guess maybe it backfired like you know bitch you're yeah. out of here now yeah. yeah she was maybe she was thinking like okay okay now she okay maybe Scarlet's starting to realize who she is maybe if I do some word association maybe I can help bring her out of her yeah. out of her you know yeah. into into quote unquote this version of reality I mean but and then she just fucking just was like Whoa, she snapped you know so yeah, it's kind of funny too because the last time we talked, we had <clears throat> said, or I had said, it's kind of funny how they have made no mention to the previous movies or anything. And then sure enough, this episode, yeah. boom, she talks about Pietro, her brother, and then Ultron gets name dropped. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Exactly. We're, we're back in the swing of things. But what was up with her, man? You know, she came oh. here because we're all she came here because we're all what? You know, and why did she stop him? Like, dude, stop, you know. Because he because he's supposed to be there to help kind of keep an eye on her and to help curb her towards the direction that sort helped to help mold her in a positive direction. And Herb started talking and Herb started giving it, giving too much information. Uh, maybe he's just not following the plan. Like, like he's Herb's definitely like 
not as senior as Agnes is. I think Agnes is like boots on the ground. She's like the commander on the ground, meaning the person who's in there in the field, right? Obviously right. there's the, the sword people outside of the encampment or whatever you want to call it, keeping an eye on things. But Agnes is in there. There has to be someone who's kind of controlling things, right? Or who's trying to help kind of steer it in a certain direction. And, and that's who Agnes is to me. She's acting as a, as a mentor to her, to, for, I mean, because look at it. She, um, Scarlet just came into this, to this, to the new town. Agnes is showing her how to fit in. You need to do this. Dottie's what makes things happen. So I'm going to show you how to fit in with Dottie. She's showing her, getting her guidance, earning her trust. I'll bring you all these. I'll bring you these, you know, all this food to make for your, for your boss's dinner, you know, right at the bat, all the, all these things just to help out. And it's, it's just, it's, it's getting to be too much. And then vision walking around kind of doing his own thing. I think it just throws people off because all those people know that vision's actually dead. So they're probably, they're probably kind of worried about even how to communicate with vision. They're probably like, Oh fuck. Is this, is this her? I mean, is she am I actually yeah. talking to Scarlet right now? Because they, they know vision's dead. So maybe there's certain protocols in place that, that he was kind of, maybe he's crossing the boundary, crossing the lines. And she's like, dude, stop. Yeah. And there was also another moment in this episode uh, where, you know, her and vision are talking and like, he kind of starts to realize something's wrong and you could tell it's that real concerned, like vision from the movies, like his mm -hmm. voice, like something's wrong here, Wanda. And she kind of like glitches shit. Yep. It's she, like, he goes, he goes, what's wrong with you, Wanda? Something's wrong with you. Yeah. She's like, like she's like coming on i don't think you. so and she backed it up and went a different route yeah so she's she's very much in control it seems like and it's it. and it's and it's people are people are concerned yeah it Just, seems justifiably like it. so i i still think agnes has got some evil in her or something something's up with her i did um, initially and i thought about it more uh i don't think the, i don't think the baddie quote-unquote baddie has been revealed yet the only baddie right now in the in the thing is scarlet witch uh, there's been a lot of rumors floating around that Scarlet herself could end up being the baddie. She is know? the baddie, dude. And, uh, you know, they're saying it could tie into her being kind of evil at first in Doctor Strange 2. And then maybe at the end, you know, she kind of gets over her yeah. ail ailments or whatever. And Who knows? Um, maybe she's under the influence of Mephisto to a certain degree. And he's not manifested here yet or whatever. And yeah, they have to break him away from that. And that's where Strange comes into play. And then there's like a big thing for, you know, in Doctor Strange 2 and... Who knows? I mean, that's that's where I think it's kind of headed in that direction, though. Yeah, because I think Kevin Feige said this is going to be tied into Doctor Strange two and Spider Man three, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. And so, uh, given so. given your that, that that article you shared where she said, and epi after episode four, it gets it gets crazy, starts going really fast. Yeah, maybe that's where she starts manifesting uh, minions of a sort, or maybe Mephisto sends minions of a sort, or whomever, and then it's the sword people have to come out and literally. Like it's obvious that they're there to to battle and they're they're trying to keep Scarlet safe and keep everybody else safe at the same time. They don't want to lose her completely to the to the dark side, if you will, or the red side. Um, yeah. And that's where all the conflict will start happening and all the battling. And and since she controls Vision, or she since Vision is a manifestation of her, Vision will initially be on her side, right? So he'll be fighting against Sword yeah. as well. Yeah. And then I'm thinking it's going to take a real fucking super cerebral turn. To where there's a, a defining moment where, because deep in her heart, she loves Vision and she knows deep in her heart that he, that he's supposed to be good. And I think she's going to have such a battle internally that at one point in a combat situation where that Vision's actually going to turn and battle against herself. That's that Vision will attack Scarlet Witch and or join Sword to kind of rein her in or start trying yeah. to help the good guys. And, and that's going to be like a defining breaking moment for her. She's going to be like, you know, like, oh, this, this isn't right. Vision's dead. What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. And that's maybe that's when Agnes, you know, fucking strokes her hair and they fucking scissor, get all ah, lesbian or whatever. And then, you know, they have a bonding moment. But that's 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 what I that that's my vision, man. That's my vision about vision, if you will. Yeah, no pun intended. Vision squared. Yeah. Well, let me read this article quickly that I shared. It said uh, um, Elizabeth Olsen said, and I quote, when we started filming the show, we had all nine scripts. So I didn't have to not really know what was going on ever. It was very specific. I think the reason why they show the press the first episodes is because episode four is quite a shift. It's really fun. It's a really fun perspective swap. And I think a lot gets understood at that moment. Mm. And she also teased that the show might not have a villain. 
which falls in line with the theory that Wanda herself her. is, is the yep. true antagonist of the series. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, man, it's uh, I could see it. You know, even if even if for some reason Mephisto's not even in this show, you know, she could just end up being the main villain. You know, yeah, he's not in it, maybe, but there there probably a, a reference to him somewhere. I think somewhere down the line. Him, yeah, I think they're going to bring him in the MCU at some point. He, maybe he'll be mentioned. Yeah, you know, by maybe Agnes, like an ancient evil Mephisto back in the day, blah blah blah, because she's going to help kind of start. I think she's going to be, uh, you know, Scarlet's Obi Wan Kenobi, if you will. Yeah, that would be a nice swerve. You know, everybody thinks Agnes mm-hmm. is the villain of some sorts, and she ends up being like a good person. I mean, that mm-hmm. would throw me, and I'd be pleasantly, you know, surprised. Like, oh shit! She's yeah, a- I think she's. I think she's a goodie. Okay, well, shit. I mean, and it'll be all them battling against Scarlet and her summon shit and Vision and. Then I I really think it'd be a cool moment if there's like that one moment where Vision like turns on Scarlet and is like this is wrong, you know, and, and attacks yeah. her or whatever, or he goes or he just or he vanishes. He's like this is not who I am, and just like just dematerializes or something, and who yeah. knows? Then yeah. and then she's like, what have I done? You know, who knows? Yeah, I still think at some point Strange is going to show up in the series. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, and there's also rumors about Doctor Strange too. You know, obviously, it's rumors that Nightmare could be the villain there. So, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. um, maybe, maybe Wanda could be some type of antagonist at first, and then they team up at the end to take on Nightmare or some shit. I don't know. You know, who's to say? I mean, next episode. I'm, I wish it was. I wish it was already. But I wish I could see. like break into the movie business already. That way, I could get in line <laughs> with Kevin Feige and be like, "Hey, bro." What happens in this? What's going to happen in this? What do you got planned for this? That would be you, awesome. You, you wouldn't want to know that. You wouldn't want to know. Nah, I'm just fucking. You'd want to be a part of it, but you wouldn't want to know. Oh, dude, if if I could direct a MCU film one day, <sighs> bro. But yeah, I mean, so I, I could definitely see you know some swerves like that. So that'd be mm-hmm. cool. But it was kind of cool to to name drop Quicksilver, and there's rumors that Quicksilver is going to show up in this. And you know what's funny is I saw something that Evan Peters is going to appear in this show. And Evan Peters played Quicksilver in the Fox X Men, right? Apocalypse, Days of Future Past, and Dark Phoenix. So it's like, what the fuck? And what film did both Quicksilvers come from? Oh, Kick Ass! Mm-hmm. One of the greatest superhero films of all time. I fucking love that. Movie. Oh, I love that movie, dude. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Such a classic. But yeah, isn't that oh, weird? It's so good. I may watch it tonight. Actually, fucking great movie. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen it, but yeah, dude, that's, I thought that was kind of crazy. You know, Evan Peters supposed uh-huh. to be in the show somewhere. It's like, uh, well, think about it, dude. I mean, because Wanda's going this direction. She already has two people she, that that she can fight with, her and Vision, and now her two kids are gonna be fucking full grown at the end of episode four, probably. They're gonna have powers too, and she'll so she'll have th- that's four people that that she could be that could they could be fighting against potentially. Yeah, you know, so. That, I, I really think that's the direction it's going. I mean, I mean, I'd be pleasantly surprised if it wasn't, but it seems pretty obvious to me that that's, that that's kind of what's, what's happening. Yeah. Man, all I know is I hope shit gets going this Friday when episode four drops. It's, I, I'm, I'm very excited. I, like I said this last week, I'm so glad they're doing it week by week instead of dumping like Stranger Things, dumping the whole season at once. Yeah. You know, of course, oh, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain, but no. I, I like the whole mystery and the build up to it. And it gets a chance to kind of bounce it off each other and talk about things. And yeah. So in a, so, show, in a show like this, we're going to do a fuck ton of that. Cause there's, so did you, what was your, what was your theory? I mean, I, I said mine and then you said, yeah, you had a th- another, a separate theory. Oh, but, uh, it was just the whole like vision is really like Mephisto or. A shit oh, I got or you. That's, that's got what you. it was. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't think so. I think she would pick up on that. I don't know. You think. I, it, it just wouldn't make I mean, well, see, if, with if sword Vision there like, and everybody there, and then it's like, mm, I don't know. Yeah. I don't well, think so. The thing with me is like, if Vision is a manifestation of her, how is he able to talk to other people when she's not even around? Like, can she even control him from afar? Like, sure. Hell yeah, dude. That's, that's dude, what her, I'm saying. Her, her powers are, she, she, she's fucking amazing, dude. She's, Oh, it's crazy. She hasn't even barely tapped into her herself yet. Yeah, I mean, that'd be interesting, you know, if, if Vision is a manifestation from her and he ends up turning on her. I think, can you see it? I can see it being a nice dramatic moment. That'd be weird. 
Because it, like, it would be like turns gray again and goes limp. It'd be the third time she's seen him oh, do that. Be fucked up. <laughs> It'd be like, uh. Well, there's a couple scenes in the trailer where Vision's like in his full costume from the movies. It's actually an older looking costume from like the seventies. It's a no, 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 no. I, homage. No, I know what you're talking about there. It's like, uh, but I'm talking this about there's a couple shots where, yeah, like the the suit he had in all the movies, Civil War and Infinity War. Mm-hmm. And shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's in that suit at some point. So uh, I'm like, uh, plus, I mean, think think how think how quirky and ridiculous he's acting, his dialogue. Um, yeah. so yeah. she's emulating, she's creating that all from her from her experiences growing up, from her childhood, from her TV show she grew up watching. So, so she's man, manifesting that 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 um fuck that uh that, that personality, if you will, that archetype. If Mephisto was controlling if that was Mephisto, I don't think Mephisto would pick up on that to, to fit in. Yeah, it's, I, it's definitely her controlling all the, the silliness and the zaniness, if you will. Yeah, I can see that, but if if she's manifesting vision, mm-hmm. When with that little moment when Vision kind of realizes something's wrong, is that her realizing through him that something's wrong? I, I don't get that part. It's her. It's her. It's her subconscious or her, or since she's part of the Mind Stone and Vision was from the Mind Stone, maybe the the inner construct they talked about. Like whenever, remember whenever, whenever um they were they went to uh, Wakanda, right? Right. And Vision's like well, clearly we have to destroy the, the stone. Blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Ruffalo's character was like, no, 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 you know. Yeah, there's still a you're, whole you're, lot of vision you're, left. You're you're made up of many different yeah constructs. You know, you're made up of Tony, me, the Mind Stone, Ultron, Jarvis. Jarvis, Ultron. Yeah. So I mean, maybe there's layers, you know, inside of her. Maybe that maybe that's that's that'll be her defining. Maybe that's her inner her inner voice, if you will, kind of starting to wake up and realizing, yeah. stop being a little fucking bitch, girl, and grow up. You know, so she's yeah. like, I want to be a bitch. Let me back it up. You know. Yeah. I forgot Banner said that that there's still you take out the stone. There's still a lot of vision left. The good mm-hmm. parts. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, man. In closing, let's wrap this up, dude. Um, yep. 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 Yeah. Give me your thoughts on episode four, man. What do you, I have no clue what to expect now. I don't know. I think the, um, is there going to be a time jump? I, I don't know what to expect. Maybe the eighties now. Uh, well, if they follow suit, there's going to be definitely a, it's going to be a different intro, right? It'll be a, a more right. recent TV type show or genre or whatever, or same genre, but different, a newer show. The kids will be full grown. And at the end of the episode, there'll be a lot of obvious friction in the air, right? There's going to be some, right. definitely some shit going on. So I don't know, dude. I mean, yeah, I don't, she's not, I don't know she, what to she, expect either. She can't, the thing is, as she gets exposed to other people, her, her, her masquerade gets revealed. So people are going to be able to only be able to like mask their, their surprise. So it's like, Oh shit, you, you have kids now. You have two kids, and then they're gonna ask questions. Something's gonna be said. She's already thrown someone else out of the dome. She'll start fucking expelling people left and right. Someone's gonna get hurt, and you know, then there's gonna be a a situation where they have to react to protect a a team member and or the world. Yeah, and it's gonna be on at the end of episode four. It's gonna be like, like that scene in Civil War. They're fucking charging against each other on the and the at the at the airfield. Really, you you think that it'll be it'll be and it'll be credits. No, maybe not that early, but definitely by at the some end, point, yeah. By the end, of, by the end of episode five, for sure. And I know we got to get more sword at some point because Jimmy Woo's supposed to show up at some point. Darcy's supposed to show up. Um. So yeah, well, we, I don't know. I don't know, but, man. I don't. I don't cheat and look ahead at the uh, IMDb. I just enjoy what I watch. Well, shit, you can you can <laughs> cheat and look at the IMDb, but I still have no clue what's going to happen. So I love no, that, that's, though. You that's know. that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I what do you? That. I mean, what do you? What do you think? I really don't know. I, I really don't know what I, th- I don't know. I just, I'm just ready to see it unfold. You know, it's kind of hard to predict this show. Yeah. You know, because the, like every time cool I think part. I have a lead on a theory, you know, then I, I bounce it off somebody else or play it out in my head. Then I could see, Oh wait, well I could see it going this way. Well, hold on. I could see, you know, it's just, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah. But I, I love it though. I love the mystery. I do too. I do too. Yeah, and, and I love the wackiness and the zaniness of it, but that's what, that's what you get when your main character is, is mentally unstable. Yeah, fucked in the head. So, yeah, I, I'm standing by my guns, man. I think she's there to help. Kind of, they're all there to help, try to help her get through this through a therapeutic environment. And, um, but it's getting yeah. to be too late because she starts to manifest these other soldiers, if you will, not yeah. just vision, but now her two kids. And that's just gonna that's just gonna intensify that family unit feeling even more. And it's gonna make her want it even more, or or, or want to keep it even more. You know. Yeah. So it's yeah. gonna so it's gonna be harder 
it's going to be harder for her to, to get through this. So it's harder for them to do their job. So they're realizing that it's coming to a point. They're like, Oh fuck. Okay. We, we saw that she, that she made vision. We got to, we got to, we got to address this. And now they're like, Oh shit. She's got fucking kids now too. Okay. Now we really got to address this. She's losing it. Well, she's, she's redlining, you know, I mean, she's soon going to be out of our control. So Agnes is in there trying to help kind of curb the situation, but they're got to be, they got to be careful what they say around vision because vision is an extension of her. That's why it was so awkward in the driveway, that conversation. Cause they're like, uh, we don't, I mean, I mean that they're, they're like, what the fuck are we supposed to do? You know? But I mean, that's, that's what I think's happening. So. Yeah. Well, it's an interesting theory, man. We'll see if it holds. We got yeah. it on record. So believe that. Well, we will find out this Friday. One. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. What if it's like yeah. Batman? That's the show they do. <laughs> A little homage to DC. <laughs> All right, man. We're getting the fuck out of here, y'all. We'll see y'all next week. All right. Peace. Later, brother. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown. And like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast.